Conductors are an essential part of modern life, powering our homes, connecting our devices, and enabling the transmission of information and energy across vast distances. At their core, conductors are materials that allow the flow of electric current with minimal resistance. Copper and aluminum are the most commonly used materials for conductors, though other metals like silver, gold, and specialized alloys are sometimes employed for specific applications. But how are these conductors made? This intricate process combines scientific principles, engineering precision, and advanced manufacturing techniques to create the wires and cables that power our world. Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. The journey of a conductor begins with the extraction of raw materials. Copper, one of the most widely used conductor materials, is typically mined from large open pit or underground mines. The ore is processed through a series of steps, including crushing, grinding, and flotation, to separate the valuable copper minerals from the surrounding rock. The resulting copper concentrate is then smelted at high temperatures to produce blister copper, which contains impurities that need to be removed. Electro-refining is the final step, where an electric current is passed through a solution containing the blister copper, causing pure copper to be deposited onto cathodes. The result is copper that is 99.99% pure, an essential characteristic for its excellent electrical conductivity. Similarly, aluminum, another popular conductor material, is extracted from bauxite ore. The Bayer process refines bauxite into alumina, which is then reduced to pure aluminum using electrolysis in large smelting facilities. Although aluminum is less conductive than copper, its lightweight nature and resistance to corrosion make it ideal for overhead power lines and other applications. The purified metals are then cast into large billets or slabs, ready for the next stage in their transformation into conductors. Once the raw materials have been refined, they are cast into specific shapes suitable for further processing. For copper, the purified metal is often cast into long rods through a process called continuous casting. In this method, molten copper is poured into a cooled mold where it solidifies and is then drawn through a series of rollers to achieve the desired diameter. Aluminum undergoes a similar process with molten aluminum being cast into ingots or large blocks, which are then rolled into sheets or rods. The rolling process is critical for shaping the metal and improving its physical properties. Rolling reduces the thickness of the material while increasing its length, creating a uniform structure with fewer internal defects. For conductor applications, precision is key as inconsistencies can affect the metal's electrical performance. Advanced rolling mills use computer-controlled systems to monitor thickness, width, and surface quality, ensuring that the material meets strict industry standards. After casting and rolling, the metal rods are further processed into wires through a technique called wire drawing. This process involves pulling the rod through a series of progressively smaller dies, reducing its diameter while increasing its length. The dies are made from extremely hard materials like tungsten carbide or diamond to withstand the immense pressure and friction involved. Wire drawing also enhances the material's strength and flexibility through work hardening. As the metal is stretched and compressed during the process, its internal grain structure becomes more compact, improving its mechanical properties. For conductors used in power transmission or telecommunications, this balance of strength and flexibility is crucial to withstand the stresses of installation and long-term use. To achieve the desired electrical properties, the drawn wires are sometimes subjected to an annealing process. Annealing involves heating the wires to a specific temperature and then cooling them slowly, which softens the metal and reduces internal stresses. This step ensures that the wires are both conductive and pliable, making them easier to handle and install. 
In many applications, a single wire is not sufficient to carry the required current or provide the necessary durability. Instead, multiple wires are stranded together to form a conductor cable. Stranding involves twisting individual wires around each other in specific patterns, creating a flexible yet robust structure. The stranded design also reduces the risk of wire breakage during installation and allows the conductor to handle higher currents more effectively. The next step is applying insulation, which is essential for preventing electrical leakage and ensuring safety. Insulation materials vary depending on the application, ranging from simple PVC or rubber coatings for household wiring to high-performance polymers for industrial and aerospace uses. The insulation process involves extruding the material around the wire or cable, forming a protective sheath. For specialized applications, additional layers of shielding or jacketing may be applied to enhance durability, protect against environmental factors, or reduce electromagnetic interference. Throughout the manufacturing process, Rigorous testing and quality control measures ensure that the conductors meet the required specifications. Conductivity tests are performed to confirm that the material allows the efficient flow of electricity, while mechanical tests assess the wire's tensile strength, flexibility, and resistance to deformation. Insulated conductors undergo additional tests for dielectric strength, which measures their ability to withstand high voltages without breaking down. Advanced testing equipment such as X-ray and ultrasonic inspection systems is used to detect microscopic defects or inconsistencies in the material. Even the smallest imperfection can compromise the conductor's performance or longevity, so manufacturers take great care to identify and address any issues before the product is shipped. While copper and aluminum dominate the conductor market, Certain applications require more specialized materials. For example, silver is used in high-frequency systems like satellites and microwave devices due to its superior conductivity. Gold, known for its resistance to corrosion, is often used in connectors and electronic components. Superconductors made from advanced materials like niobium-titanium alloys offer near zero resistance at very low temperatures and are used in cutting edge technologies like MRI machines and particle accelerators. The production of conductors is a fascinating blend of science, technology, and craftsmanship. From mining and refining raw materials to casting, rolling, drawing, and stranding, each step in the process contributes to the creation of wires and cables that power our world. The attention to detail, precision engineering, and rigorous quality control ensure that these conductors perform reliably in a wide range of applications, from simple household wiring to complex industrial systems and cutting-edge technologies. As demand for electricity and data transmission continues to grow, the development of more efficient and sustainable conductor manufacturing processes remains a critical focus. Innovations in materials, recycling methods, and energy-efficient production techniques promise to make the conductors of the future even more capable and environmentally friendly, keeping the world connected and moving forward. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.